Hello everyone. So now we are going to learn how we can configure the redistribution in the ASA firewall. So let me open new lab. In this one we are going to configure and we are going to learn what is redistribution. Okay. So I will give here name ASA or let me give as a redistribution. Okay. Redistribution in ASA. Fireball, whatever name you want, you can give no issue. Redistribution. So now what I will do, first of all, let me define what is redistrib redistribution. If you see here, imagine I have one router here. I will take the example of router and uh, firewall also we can take no issue. I have three router here. Okay this side you are uh, running here OSPF and this side you are running EAGRP or RIP any different routing protocol then this OSPF routes will not go in this side and this uh, RIP route will not come here in the OSPF side this router will learn this router will have both the route OSPF route as well as the RIP route but this router will not exchange this o uh, RIP route in the here and OSPF route here. Means they are not going to exchange the OSPF route in RIP and RIP route in the OSPF area. So this is a problem. So what we will do, we will use the concept of redistribution. So with the help of redistribution, we will exchange the route. Okay, we will exchange the route. Why we need actually? Sometime our organization will buy another organization and they want to connect. They want to connect. Example, we have the brand head office this one and this is another company. We buy this one and we call this as a branch office and you need to connect. Maybe this side they are running the RIP. This is a small network. They are running the RIP here. You have this site as a OSPF. So what you will do you in this scenario maybe you will say that okay this is the branch office remove all the rip configuration and configure the ospf this is a one option you can do this way also but you need downtime and you need to do the all the configuration from the scratch you will remove everything and then you will start configuring of ospf this is first solution and another solution is do the redistribution when we do the redistribution this rip route will go in the OSPF, OSPF route will come here. So how we can define in the place of this router, we can say we have the ASA firewall, this one. Okay, ASA firewall. So ASA firewall is going to convert the OSPF route into rip and rip route should go in the OSPF. So how we can define the redistribution? We can say redistribution allow firewall to run more than one routing protocol redistribution allow firewall to share the route among the routing protocol this way we can define see try to understand the concept concept is important later in your own words you can reproduce in your own words you can reproduce no one is going to buy heart okay no need to buy heart anything understand the concept what is a problem what is the solution why we are using this because we need to exchange the route we have two different routing protocol two different routing protocol cannot communicate they cannot talk to make them communication what we will do we will do the redistribution if you remember when we are doing the ccna ccnp we are saying router is a device which is used to make the communication between two or more different network same here to make the communication between two or more different routing protocol, we are going to use the redistribution. Okay, we can define this way also. So try to remember the concept and reproduce with your own words. No need to buy hard anything. Okay, no need to buy hard anything. So what we are saying, redistribution allow firewall to run more than one routing protocol or we can say redistribution allow firewall to share routes among the routing protocol it is a process of distributing route learn from one source to another source we can say i learn this firewall learn the routes from this side and he will share that route here and this firewall learn the route from here and he will share here 
so this way also we can say it is a process of distributing root learn from one source to another okay this way also you can say and uh, what else we can say we can say redistribution is very useful in case when the network are expanding or we are merging we are go we can use the redistribution we can say static and connecti connected root can also redistribute in the ESA firewall even if you have the static root or even if you have the dynamic root or the connected interface also we can do the redistribution okay you need to remember only routes present in the routing table can be redistributed if you don't have root in this routing table of the ASA firewall if we are taking the ASA firewall here if your ASA firewall is not having that root in the routing table then we cannot do the redistribution so this is a condition we need to remember only routes present in the routing table can be redistributed in the Cisco ASA okay when redistribution is occurring we need to take care about the matrix okay we need to look matrix because here i am using the ospf here i am using the rip so rip seed matrix is infinity so we need to define that matrix if we did not define they will create the loop so we need to remember that one also so what scenario we will take we will take scenario like this we will have the asa firewall and here we will have the router here we will have the router or if you want to connect ASA firewall you can connect that one also no issue and here we will configure the OSPF here we can configure the RIP and then we will check in the ASA firewall you will have the route from the OSPF and also from the RIP but this AS ASA firewall will not share the OSPF route to this router and this ASA firewall will not share this RIP route in the OSPF so for that purpose we will do the redistribution with the help of redistribution rip root will go in the ospf and the ospf root will go in the rip but you need to remember let me write here protocol especially for the rip and the eigrp we need to take the uh, what we can say we need to take care for this two, two protocol when we are doing the redistribution because default default seat matrix for this two protocol is infinity okay default seat matrix for this protocol which protocol for rip and eagrp it is a infinity so what we need to remember here for the rip and for the eagrp if we did not configure by default they will take the infinity so they will create the loop infinity we can write this way i hope you remember in the max we are writing infinity like this okay so what i am saying whenever we are configuring the redistribution we need to take care default seed matrix whatever default matrix they will use as a infinity for rip and eagrp whereas ospf will take the other value that is 20 except bgp okay bgp and bgp will take the bgp matrix in uh, set to igp so no need to worry about this one now you need to worry about this one only when you are configuring here by default you have the infinity so you need to define the matrix if you did not define here they will take infinity and it will create the loop okay so I hope you understand the concept you remember that redistribution is nothing but exchanging the route or making the communication between two different routing protocol with the help of redistribution we can say this way okay and how we will configure the redistribution how we will configure the redistribution let me write here the configuration also so you will have the idea so later we can do the lab also imagine here I am writing router okay router ospf ospf1 then after that i will write re distribute redistribute rip and we will define the matrix if we did not define we will have the issue so matrix is hope count so i will say 4 so what i told i go inside the ospf i am saying redistribute rip matrix 4 in the ospf we can read this way okay redistribute rip matrix 4 in the ospf this one we need to configure and also next thing 
we need to configure for the rip also so what we will write we will write router rip okay router rip and here we will write redistribute okay router rib redistribute and then we write ospf what is the process id if we are using one one then matrix we can define here as a bandwidth is nothing but cost so we can give five for whatever you need so this one we need to configure so what we will do in our next class we are going to set up the complete lab after that we are going to do that one but now in this video only we discuss the what is redistribution okay so we can say this is the introduction to redistribution what is redistribution and what are the commands we are going to use so just try to remember redistribution allow firewall to run more than one routing protocol redistribution allow firewall to share the routes among the routing protocol it is a process of distributing routes learn from one source to another source for redistribution at least one working physical link in each routing domain example i am saying this one is a ospf and this one is in rip so this interface at least one interface should be working if this is done this is done then you cannot do the redistribution okay and i am saying that static and the connected route can also redistribute so if we say connected or static route also we can do the redistribution okay and what else we can say we can say we have the seed matrix for the ospf and the eigrp bgp all are having but we need to take care especially rip because it is by default infinity and eigrp also infinity so this two we need to take care we need to define manually and this is a configuration when we are doing the redistribution router ospf1 redistribute rip matrix so give the matrix and we will write this way redistribute rip matrix 4 in the ospf redistribute ospf matrix 5 in the rip like this way we will read okay thank you for seeing this one in our next class we are going to do the lab for asa firewall for redistribution we will take the one asa firewall and two routers and we are going to configure the redistribution thank you